So now we're going to discuss more about the genetic variation. Last week I mentioned briefly about the genetic variation. So in this context, so we have to know what is the mutation and genetic variation. So genetic variation in most cases is caused by the mutation in the DNA. So it's a replace one nucleotide with the other or there's a deletion or insertion of a nucleotide in a fragment of DNA. And how this genetic variation can be used to reconstruct the evolutionary history. What's the principle behind it? So the mutation in the cell can happen while in storage. So that means that when the DNA material is kept in the cell in the nucleus or mitochondria. And it can happen also during the DNA replication. So when the copy that made from the original uh, template of DNA there are few nucleotides is, is different from the original copies, so that means that the mutation is happened. So this type of mutation is considered the error, but it's not all the mutations are bad. Okay, the the changing of the nucleotide in a position where will you be used to transcribe the, the in the in the position where the fragment of the DNA. It's a gene and it will be used to transcribe into the RNA and then the RNA will be used to be translated into the protein. So any if any changes of the one position will change the RNA molecule, sequence the RNA molecule, and if the change in the RNA molecule will will, will cause the changes in the protein that they, they translate, then this pro this this changes can be changed to become better. Maybe they express certain protein they have never expressed before in the original copy, and this protein is very useful and can increase the survival of the organism. Or maybe the changes of the nucleotide in the template of the DNA cause the changes in the RNA, of course, but somehow it will not cause the changes in the protein that is translated okay so in this case the changes might be have no effect at all and if the changes happen in a very really critical region then will cause the changes in the protein then it will cause the very uh, negative effect on the organism okay it will decrease the survival rate or it will cause the cancer However, mutation is very rare okay? because uh, the DNA replication process in the cell is very efficient and there's a repair mechanism okay, to correct all the mis uh, this, this mutation error. So basically there's only the mutation rate is about 1 in a thousand nucleotide every million years okay so it's smaller than 0.1 percent of course it this it depends on the which part of the gene the mutation happened some gene the mutation happened faster some slower okay the mutation what i mean here is not the mutation so of course if you read this uh red one in one thousand nucleotide every million years so the time scale that they're looking at is not within one individual organism, but across a evolutionary time scale. Okay. So that means that if one nucleotide in every million years, so if one organism, their genome size, let's say, is one thousand best pair, one thousand nucleotide ATCG. And for the organism, the lifespan is 100 years. Okay, so that means that you will expect that only roughly one mutation happen in the 10th generation of the organism. So for the first generation to the second generation, there might be no mutation. The second to the third, there might be no mutation. But the third to the fourth, there maybe there will be one mutation. Okay. Then after that, for the fourth generation to the fifth generation, maybe there will be no new mutation, but the mutation that happened in the third generation will pass to the 
fourth and the fifth generation. So this is an example for E. coli, so a bacteria you are quite familiar with. So the rate is about one nucleotide change in one billion nu nucleotide per cell generation. So the mutation is happened very, very rare. So for short-term survival of an organism, okay, from, a, from an animal, of course, you don't really want to have the changes in the DNA or any mutation happen, okay? <coughs> but for long run, a uh, long-term survival, species require DNA to change over many generations, okay? Why? So now the organism survive in this day, this time, okay? So that means that their, their survival, their fitness, their fitness is can, uh, their fitness is very high. However, their fitness is very high in this time and current situation. However, if there's a change in their environment, they might be have a very low survival rate. So in this case, <coughs> to prevent, this, if they want to adapt, they cannot adapt. Okay, because their genetic material is the same, they express the same protein. So this is at the individual level. <coughs> However, for long-term survival of the species, so it's a species making of a population and population making of many different individuals. If all individuals have the same DNA content, if the environment change, the whole population will be wiped out and the species will be extinct. So each individual they will have a different mutation rate <coughs> when the mutation happen at different part of their DNA. So this causes the genetic variation in the population. So each individual that might express some protein after mutation in the current situation, status quo, the protein might be not even useful. But somehow if the environment has changed, then this individual might survive because of the particular protein, where the other individual, the rest of the population might extinct. 